Hi, this is Risa and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about embroidering on cork fabric and we'll focus on reviewing 100% cork fabric produced and sold by the company Reher in Germany and it's called Korkstoff. I came across the material in a craft shop during my travels in Europe and was intrigued by it and so bought a few in order to try it out for embroidery. So let's take it out of its package. First time ever using this material for hand embroidery, so I'm really excited to see how it fares. It's kind of thick from what I can feel and it's very soft and smooth. It has cork basically on a cotton fabric and what it says on the packaging is that it's natural and sustainable and biodegradable. So that's really interesting. Um, it's certainly very soft and smooth and it comes in different colors. Cork is a natural product containing no chemicals or synthetic additives in addition to being hydrophobic and dust repellent and it seems to be used in the stitching world as an alternative to leather. It does feel very smooth and leathery here and I've seen it being used for machine embroidery and just stitching. You can see there are different products here you can produce like the book cover. Here's another piece that I have. Um, it has another pattern. Here you can produce cushion covers, bags. So clearly very versatile material. Here it looks a little bit more corky than the dark brown fabric that I have and here the backing is a little bit more see-through. I don't know if you can see it through the camera here. Sort of little see-through here you can see the darker fabric is thicker and more leathery. And I used a third fabric for my hand embroidery project. Now the size of the fabric is 30 by 45 centimeters, which is just perfect for uh, an eight inch hoop or smaller hoop for a smaller project. And these are some of the DMC threads that I used for that project. So keep watching if you want to see what the experience was with hand embroidery. First things first was mounting the fabric in a hoop. And I found that to be a little difficult because it is stiff fabric feels more like canvas um, and I noticed a few cracks showing after mounting but those cracks disappeared once I removed the hoop and I used really fine needles for thread painting I must say that it was pretty easy to hand stitch on cork fabric you can see that the material is really stiff so it was easy to insert the needle and this is a sneak preview of my stitch along video for the architectural embroidery pattern that I created of a bridge in Venice and you can watch the video by clicking on the link above and downloading the free pattern. Now here is the embroidered piece. You can see there's a stiff edge um, to the corners. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem because I'm going to use a smaller frame to be able to frame the embroidery piece. Now you can see I'm having some difficulty framing and would recommend getting a different frame if you want to frame it yourself or going to the framer. So I used my daughter's help to hold the fabric in place while I was framing. Now I'm going to dissolve that Solvi fabric that I used to stitch the embroidery piece on and I'm curious to see if there's going to be a difference in shrinkage between the fabric and the threads. And here it is all dry and looks perfect. There's no warping of the fabric itself and there's no pucking of the embroidery threads and the back looks pretty neat and stretched as well. You can leave your wall art just like this um, by pulling the fabric together or you can use a backing. I like the stone finish look that I was going for for this architectural embroidery piece so love that look it gives it that old Venetian look perfect um, and here it is completed I'm gonna give this as a gift to a friend and I hope she'll like it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this review was useful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons to support my channel and see you again next time. Bye bye.